Dave here at Oz Comic Con for Pop Rat. It's absolutely amazing. Anywhere you look, there's characters of all different size, shapes, anything you can think of or imagine seen in a comic book movie, it is here today. I was fortunate enough to sit down with Sam and Rob who play uh, Ted and Todd on Scrubs. So guys, welcome to Australia. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, is Your this... energy is awesome. Well, I do like to be enthusiastic. And if any better, I'd be jumping off the walls, as I always say. So, now, have you guys been to Australia before? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And so, where is the best place in Australia? Oh, God. Perth. Oh, yeah, of course. Perth. Totally. This is like a layup. Come on. Challenge, challenge us here. <laughs> Perth. I love Perth. So, yeah. And here's your $50. Uh, so, and so, what have you guys uh, seen in Perth before? We haven't seen anything yet, yeah, though, we, we but it's the yesterday. best place in, the, in but, Australia. <laughs> free Wi-Fi. Have you heard? Well, I've done my due diligence, and I've already scouted out the, the beaches to surf. So I'm going to go to Scarborough Beach later today, Good, and yep. maybe even Triggs. And I am going to swim in the uh, surf in the Indian Indian Ocean. I'm going to look for the Malaysian jet, and I'm going to kick the ass of a great white shark. Wow. I was night, say, everybody. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we don't need any of that shark culling stuff over here. We'll just get you to come over and do it all for us. I got it. it. Back off, CNN. I will get to the bottom of the Malaysia jet. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. So um, now, let, let's talk about Scrubs for a moment. So your characters, and, you know, funny that, you know, that you guys were being in it somehow. Uh, so your characters are really polar opposites. I mean, you're as crazy as a dog on heat, and you, your character is just absolutely so sad, and like, we, we just want to give you a teddy bear and hug you, you know? Uh, but how, they look like they were real fun to play, but how much of those characters are in you? I mean, how much was acting, and how much was, you know what, uh, yeah, we just have to go absolutely nuts, because this is just who I really am. <laughs> well, I always say that I played a sex-obsessed, you know, frat boy surgeon who thinks he's God's gift to women, but in yeah. life, I'm nothing at all like that character. With one exception, we both have enormous hogs. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, okay, good, excellent. Yeah, I, I, we won't we'll take away from it. That's me, I don't know about Sam. No, basically all I have in common with Ted is that you know, I don't have hair and I sleep with my mom. But other than that, <laughs> I am nothing. So it's so nothing, nothing more to worry about, nothing. right? Nothing. Uh, that, that's cool. How did we get cast? <laughs> uh, and when, actually, that being said as well, with your characters, again, you are... Uh, always a hit with the ladies you know, for some baffling reason and, and you you eventually got a girlfriend which was great in the That's show right, yeah. uh, but in real life in we, your face dog. <laughs> <laughs> so in real life if we were to go down and decide right it's, it's Friday night let's go hit the clubs in Northbridge how well would you two do with the ladies wow well Zach Graff used to always tease me and say Rob I bet your opening line when you meet a pretty woman is like oh I'm the Todd from Scrubs and I thought, that is absurd. I would never say anything like that. I say, Zach, that's never my opening line. But it's usually my closing it's line. It's your closing line. <laughs> <laughs> and it works as well. So, you know, hey, don't, don't knock the system. And what about you? <laughs> and I say, hey, I, I don't have hair and I sleep with my mother. And that works great. That taps time. into a sect, I bet. I bet you've got like a niche. Sam, I, 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 must, I bow to your, to your, uh, to your pickup lines. Yeah, yeah, I bow to you. Good. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, guys, with you know, obviously, you guys have both very had, had very successful careers and stuff. What would you say to is people? It over? Yeah, well, that's it. I'm sorry. Now, after, after, after this, this is the last recording you will ever get. Over, <laughs> uh, what would you guys say to people who actually want to get into acting? So, guys and girls, what, what would you be saying is the first step, um, and what is actually required to sort of get into like such a popular show like Scrubs? That's uh, luck. Um, luck? Luck. Luck, um, okay. No, I mean, if you want to be an actor, you've got to be an actor. Yeah. And, to, and to basically, to do it, you just have to put yourself, first of all, in a position where you could do it. You know, you have to go to a city where they cast, cast people and they make TV shows and movies and stuff. But basically, you just got to... You gotta do it, and uh, whether or not you're getting money for it or whatever, I mean, both of us did stuff for absolutely nothing, you know, when like we were this. starting out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, $50 totally didn't happen, I swear. But, you know, but that's actually a good point. When, when it actually comes to acting, do you, at, at what point do you say, right, I'm now worth more than just my time, you know, I actually should be getting paid for what I do now. At what point do you sort of, because that's, a, I, I used to do a little bit of acting, you know, it's a very hard transition. How much do you do for free and how much do you, when do you actually say, no, I deserve something for, for my, my craft here? Right. These are hard questions, you know. When I, I only got out of college, ones. <laughs> <laughs> when I got out of college, I really didn't think like this is. I was so naive about 
you know, making the business of being an actor and making a living. I just knew I had, I felt like I had this need to make an offering. I had a need to make people laugh. And I just pursued it because it was something that I was really made me nervous right the moment before I went on stage. So it was never like, oh, someday I'm going to do this, this, and this. I'm start getting paid. Like, I never really thought about the business. I thought about, like, this is very annoying. I'm making something, I'm making a very compelling point. This is awesome. This is awesome. It's because tell us. I'm talking about the craft of acting. What do you do? And anyone that's an like elevator or a pen, I'm like, God damn. Well, he's an actor. He probably <laughs> is. No, that, that's the equivalent of a heckler. He's buddy. following his <laughs> passion. There's so many ways to be creative in this world. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, so, guys, as well. No, you, you actually have a band, don't you? The, the Blanks, I believe? Yes, the Blanks. So, so you're, that's your bad sort of thing. What, dis, what made you decide, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start an acapella band? Well, what was, the, what was the thinking? Would you just wake up one day and say, you know what, I've got a bit of a singing voice, I think maybe I'll get a band together, or did it just sort of happen, or what yeah. happened exactly? No, I don't think anybody actually goes, hmm, I'm going to be in an acapella band. It's just me. For the design. ladies. Um, <laughs> for the chicks. <laughs> no, actually, I mean, uh, we, me and those three guys, yeah. we, uh, two of us, three of us went to Syracuse together, so we were good friends. Yeah. The other one we met doing improv out in L.A. But uh, basically, uh, we were all musical guys, and one of the guys was doing this show called Forever Plaid. Yeah. Okay? Maybe you've, it's been around, maybe? Never maybe heard. not. Okay. okay. It's, yeah. it's about a quartet, and they, they sing uh, 40s uh, four-part harmony songs. Yeah. Okay? And he was doing the show, and he got the score, right? And, uh, you know, this is going to get him in big trouble, mm -hmm. it's George, but uh, he, he got the score, so he said, hey, I can, you know, I got a, a lead on a party, we can sing, we can make like three, four hundred bucks a piece! <laughs> and we learned this stuff under the guise of being this show, right? So we learned that show. That's how we got together. Wow. Then we liked, we liked hanging out and singing together. Um, so we would still get together, but we didn't want to pay for an accompanist. Right. So, and the show you need an accompanist. We didn't want it. We were too cheap. We were cheap. We were hey, many a great thing you started because you didn't have the fun. So that we is were, awesome. That's so the, the reason we were a cappella was because we didn't have the money. You can't just fell into it. That's, the that's born out of necessity. That's yeah. great. That's I love awesome. that story. And so, do you have any singing ability, bro? Yeah. I am not afraid to sing. I've done musicals. In fact, when I was in college, that's how I started in acting. I did Pippin. I did uh, The Mystery of Edwin Drood, I did Anything Goes, and thus for a short period of time I was a homosexual. <laughs> just, just for a short time, yeah. yeah you grew out what did you fun. do in Anything Goes? It was Moonface Martin. Yeah! yeah Moonface! Like you would be both! Are you like, kidding? No, that's what I'm saying! I didn't know that. I like Bringing face. people Jesus. together, that's what yes. this is all about. Yeah, that's well, it. I'm glad you said that because um, I want you to just try a little bit of something here. Is this an audition for Australian American Idol? Do you yeah. have that here? I'll put it like the, the voice. voice. I'm going to be really bad because I can't sing for squat, but since you two obviously are very, very good, I hope we could maybe put sing a, a, a bit of a nice, easy song together here. So, oh. so uh, what I was hoping is that you, you'd be able to uh, sing the first part, Sam. I'm going to the one. You make... You, you don't know how to sing. That no, I, I don't have my glasses, that's all. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll just hold it up here. Like don't worry, I'm going to change all the lines anyway. It has to be <laughs> so, so my part, I'll sing anything that's in the brackets, but I, I think it'd be okay. best if, if you take the lead there. Uh, <laughs> Sam, and then you can jump you in know there. the song? So, I'm, if you sing the first verse, I, I guess I'll do it. How can you not you'll, know this you'll, song? You'll know it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, 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 let's hear your singing. Let's, let's right, do it. I've got to quickly rewrite this to make it. Is this a triple X uh, version? Okay. You can do whatever you want. That's what she says. Sing. <laughs> Hello! Alright. Ready. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum, rubber ducky. You're the one. Get a good voice. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Woo woo dee doo. Hey. Rubber ducky, joys of joy. Yeah. When I squeeze you, you make noise. That's what she said. Yeah. Rubber ducky, you're my very best friend. It's true, just the tip for you. Hey. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Every day when I make, make my, my way to the tubby, tubby, you find a little fella who's cute and chubby. And Rub it up, dubby. Rub a ducky, you're so fine. I got this. I really want you from behind. Oh, Rub a ducky, I'm only fond of you. Oh, well done, guys. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Well, 
Thank you so much. It's actually censored, but other than that. What are you talking about? It's a podcast. It's going on the internet. So you don't censor. You have to have inappropriate jokes on the internet. That's why they invented it. Oh my god, guys, thank you so much for uh, for for interview for the interview today. It's been absolutely amazing. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you very much, guys. You both are such awesome guys, and thank you so much for sitting down and interviewing with us. Of course, be sure to check out hotwrap.com for all the news, information, and many, many more articles. Loved it. Dear God, could it be like a soap opera sometimes? Um, what? Yeah.